So I'm just going to show you how to make the ruffle that goes under under the neck and on top of the dress, whether you're making it for a, a male or a, or a female. So I use um, tulle and ribbon. You could just use ribbon if you wanted to, you know, different thicknesses of ribbon. Um, I've chosen some white tulle, red. Um, these are just bits of ribbons that I have in my, uh, my scraps. So I've got some blue ribbon and red ribbon. And I also have this rainbow ribbon. Um, again, this is over from a project that I really, really love. So I'm going to use a bit of that. So you start off with 30 centimetres of tulle and you're going to start in the middle, roughly um, in the middle. And you're going to get your piece of tulle, which is um, 15 centimetres. So you cut a 15 centimetre. And then you're going to just literally tie it. Tie it onto here. Or fingers and thumbs today so I find if you tie it and then move it up it works okay so you can see here I've already put some of the other ribbon on so I like to do different lengths because I think you get a better better look so the blue I've gone with 15 centimeters like the tool but you can it's up to you really if you wanted to do a 10 and a 5 but I've gone with 15 and a 10 so 15 for the blue and 10 for the red and 10 for the rainbow so I might put a rainbow one on here as well the idea is you do tulle and ribbon yeah. excuse me tulle and ribbon but I've I'm just going to put two ribbons on here you know it's it's for you it's your creativity I'm going to just show you, I'll put one more piece of tulle on and show you the idea of what we're trying to achieve here. I'll just move that up. And always handy to have a, have a ruler here near you. It's about 15. Doesn't have to be exact, ladies, there or thereabouts. It's just that you get the ruffle that comes over um not just the neck but comes over the dress as well and I think it's quite nice to do that so I'm doing this large enough to probably go around twice so you can see it's got a bit of a mind of its own so what I'm going to do is just fold them down just so I've got one over over each there just while I show you I've got my my bit here and literally what we're doing we're going to be adding this here and then she'll have the she'll have the dress now like i say i have done plenty so we can bring it round or equally if you want to just do part of it so it's around a neck and then you know around this side so carry on until you get round there, but then maybe tie in a lovely bow. And I think especially for the um, the girls one, that might look quite pretty, really. But you would carry on going, going round. Now, I think for the male one, you could do a shorter one. So you could do 10 for the tool and five for the ribbon. You, you know you can do that if you wanted you could do a longer ribbon at the front and tie it you know like a like a bow tie you could you could do that um this tool is great though I use this for um the small ballerinas that I do and I also use it on some of the sitting earth angels this is one of um, the Earth Angels, the sitting Earth Angels. So I made the skirt exactly the same and just tied that on top of the felt. So it is um, it is quite an easy thing to do. I guess if you did layers and layers, you could. You could maybe felt the top and have these layers coming down. I think that would look quite pretty. You could. You could do that. 
but um i think this is um this is a nice kind of easy um if you don't like the look of some of the longer pieces you can trim them i always trim my ribbon on an angle just trim it on an angle it helps it to stop fraying yeah so you tool your ribbon if you were doing this just with ribbon um maybe try and get a ribbon at least this thick if not double thickness of that because you want you want to be able to hide the neck when you do when you do that on the ruffle around there and then you will have your dress this is my dress fabric or you felt and see it looks quite pretty quite like she's going to a garden party which was the whole idea of this so carry on doing your tool and then we'll bring those all those other parts together okay so for adding the dress the easiest way is to sit your rabbit or your hair into the cup and then to pop the dress over and to get the two top ends together. So at the moment, I, I would say it looks a little bit like a tea cosy on a, on a teapot. So you need a, a long thread with a knot, a needle. And if you go in one corner first, And go in the other corner now you don't need to worry too much about the neatness of this because it's going to be covered this top part okay but we're literally we're just going to join those two ends together now, i'm not going to do the armholes yet because i might get away with not having to do them at all but we're just securing that in place and then we're going to do a gather stitch which is just a big a big stitch going round so I'm going to start in the front you're just going in and out of the fabric keep it near to the top or as, as near to the top as you can and if you've glued this rather than sewed this I would recommend that you leave it 24 hours and you leave pins in it before you do this it definitely doesn't work when the the glue's still damp on the cloth it gets all stuck in your needle so we're just going in and out, around, in and out. So you'll have reached the other end, hopefully, by now, and do exactly the same. Just don't want to stand up mine today. The two corners meeting, the thread through. Okay, so we don't want to do a knot. What we want to do is just put the thread through so it's joined. We can go back and do that. Otherwise, you're not going to get the gathers. So you're just joining those two pieces and you're going around and doing your gather stitch at the back. Now, you can do two rows. I've opted to do double thread through my needle and a strong thread. So I should be able to pull it through then, no problem. So I'm going to carry on around until I get to where I started and you should see by now it's already beginning to gather quite a clever pattern this go round round and through where to where you started okay and then you're just gonna gently pull until it fits round her neck okay and what you're looking for is a bit of gathering at the front and at the back okay so that's the front and that's the back so I'll even that out a little bit more around the back and then I'll pull it so just play around with that until you're happy and then once you're happy with that 
just gonna pull around there. So if you pull it and keep the gather in, okay, and then it's best to hold it, just hold it secure. And I'm just going to put a little stitch there at the top. Just to secure it on that side. And then I'll do it on the other side. Now, while we're here, we just move the arms a little bit. Want to just put the dress into place under our arms because we can go and stitch those. We're going to do the same at the bottom and gather the bottom so that when she's sat in the cup, she's got a gather at the front and a gather at the back. OK, so once you're happy with the gathering at the top, just secure that thread. Easiest, I think, now tie that in a knot. And then just use my snippers on that. Okay. And then I just look on the other side. I'm just going to do another stitch on that other side. Just move the gathers. Get the gathers how how you want it to sit yeah I quite like the gathers like that okay and we're gonna stitch these armholes once we're happy I prefer to put the ruffle on first and then see what that's like okay so again on the side my needle cotton I'm a very messy crafter I'm afraid just a couple of stitches just to hold it I mean you could actually sew it to the felt if you wanted to but I think that's secure enough it's not going anywhere okay so I'm happy with that now I'm happy with how it's how it's gathered so what you're going to do now it's with the bot bottom bit. I decided to sew mine, but if yours yours isn't sewn, it's not it's not a problem. So the idea now is with our cotton, just put a knot bottom of this. Says. We're going to do exactly the same with the bottom. So you're going to go in and around. Just gathering. I do love this fabric. I hope you've been able to get some nice tea dress fabric. I was thinking, you know, um, I, I, I go to the charity shops and get um, bits and bobs that I can recycle and use to make. Um, you, you could do that, you know, maybe say, is there a nice blouse or a dress and you could make a few. So like I say with these, if you wanted to do smaller ones, which obviously are not going to take you as long, then you could do that. Um, I mean, you could do them as small as like egg cup size if you wanted. I think that'd be a third of the pattern. So I think half of the pattern would be a smaller cup 
maybe a third of the pattern using exactly the same process. Sometimes it's a little bit harder to do features on tiny, but you can go as far as you want with the features, you know, do them as plain and as simple or fancy. So we're, we're literally going to pull that in now. Okay. And this is where it's helpful. Oh, full of cotton. Um, it's helpful with the arms because if you want to gather that a little bit more and move it around like at the back, like to just get those gathers down a little bit, you can do that before you secure it. You can sit her in the cup. So I've not I've not tied that cotton yet. Um, yeah, that's that's quite pretty. That I'm quite happy, quite happy with that. Like I say, we're gonna do we're gonna do the arms in a moment. We can decide where they're gonna be positioned and and just stitched in. Okay. So you've got this underneath now. So the best way to do this, I find, is just put one stitch through and then go through, go through the layers of fabric just so that you're bringing it, you're bringing it together. So it's almost like you're creating a seam now there. Again, it's not going anywhere, that. Don't worry too much, just watch you don't squash your head. I'm shocking for that forgetting. Just make sure that that's secure. Now, like I said earlier, you have got the option with these. If you're going to stick that in a cup, don't worry too much about the finishing off with it and how it looks because that's where it's going to sit. But if you're going to give this as a gift, then you can just spend a little bit more time just making that that neat. But I think the drawing in of it is quite neat anyway. OK, so I'm just going to secure a knot on there. Trim it. And again, you've got these arm holes that you can readjust the dress. Get that how you like it, get it sitting right, and then you can do the arms and secure those last. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so let me just show you, I'm going to put our arms down a minute. Let me just show you the ruffle. So this is the ruffle that I created. And I've I decided to stop just do the front bit. But actually, when you tie that around it, it does come all the way around to the back. And what I decided to do was to tie it in a bow. So I'm just going to tie it and then I'll show you how to move things around a little bit. I'm going to tie it in a bow. And I'll show you in a minute with that. OK. So I'll show you at the back. So I've done the bow and these bits of ribbon here. But you can move these. You can move them around. I'm just holding a head while I do that. I'm going to start pulling it ahead. But you can move them around. Open the tool a little bit. I'm going to open where I did the bow. I'm going to open that a bit more. Uh, a bit more. Move that blue around. Actually, that blue looks quite nice with that. I'm happy with the gathers on that dress at the back. Move it round to the side. Just have a look at, her, at the front. I'm happy with that. Litter a bit. So if I bring her arms down, bring her arms down a bit, you can see then at the side with the dress where you can tack. 
but it all depends on, on where you want her arms, how you want them. I think I'm going to have them down actually quite like that, quite like them in front, in front a little bit there. So remember, you can move the hands, you can move the hands up if you wanted the arms out. You could do that if you wanted them inside, like this, you could do that and bring them together. Now, you might decide that you want to hold in something, a little gift or a little tag, maybe a game tag. Because you could, um, sorry, a name tag, not a game tag. If you have a pause hanging down like that, you could tie a little tag together and put a little name, a little name tag there. So when I do that with the arms, I know at the side here, there's very little to sew, just to sew together. I'm happy with how that's looking. And I think on a table, that would look really lovely for the coronation. I think it would be a lovely gift for somebody, you know, if you've got a grandma or a mum that's maybe seen um, our old queen Elizabeth and the coronation. I think these are these are lovely things. And I'm I'm really, really lucky this year because I've been invited to the King's Garden Party at Buckingham Palace in recognition of the work that I've done, the charity work that I've done for well, over three decades now. So it's a very special one for me. So I may even have this for myself. So happy making. Um and yeah, please, please share and um, please like and comment and share on my social media. Um, I'm going to add my whiskers on here later. You, you would have seen earlier that I had some, but I just kept knocking them. So maybe a tip is if you're going to use the, um, this is a merino wool. If you're going to use that, leave it till the end. Um, and literally I'll get in the middle and just twist that a little bit and they will go underneath the nose and just be gently tacked in place. But you, I'll put um, a picture on my um, Facebook and Instagram page so you'll be able to see that um, clearly. It will certainly be in the newsletter that I hope you've subscribed to. So thank you for watching and have a wonderful coronation.